In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the grey areas for electricians to be aware of, and specifically, I'm going to be talking about earthing systems. Now, I'm sure you'll be familiar with the images in the on-site guide and in the regs book that show the typical uh, arrangement for each type of earthing system. But when you're on site, depending on the age of the installation, it can look a little bit different. So I've got a couple of images here that I'm going to share with you. And looking on the screen now, so the first image that you can see is of a typical PME system. And you can see that the main earth is terminated in the side of the cutout. However, in the next image that I'm going to show you, we can see that it's the same type of cutout, a modern cutout. However, instead of the earth being terminated in the side of the cutout, the DNO has installed an earth block which is separate from the cutout. So why might this be? And what type of earthing system is it? And how can we check if we're not sure? Well, this is a photo that I took on site. And so I know that this installation is of an electricity supply to a house. And what happened here is that it used to be a traditional TNS system and you had the earth coming from the sheath of the incoming cable, but a service alteration was carried out later to move the supplier's equipment outside. And so we now have a more modern cable and cutout. And so the reason that there's a separate earth block there, it's likely that this is a TNS system and that the DNO has used a separate neutral earth cable. So can we say for sure that this is still a TNS system? Well, we have to bear in mind that it's possible that due to alterations in the network, it is still possible that PME conditions could apply. So my advice here is to contact the local DNO if you're ever unsure as to what the type of system is. Now, another thing to bear in mind is if you ever saw this same arrangement in a flat, but the supply to the block of flats is a PME, and then when you go into the flat, you've got the service head with a separate earth block, there may be a specific reason for this. And that is that in blocks of flats, the DNO or the IDNO use separate neutral earth cables within the block of flats for the distribution from the origin of supp the supply to the individual flat. And the reason for this is to prevent the risk of circulating currents in the metal work of the building. So we've got a situation where we've got a PME at the origin, which will go into a right field cabinet or, or maybe a three phase service cutout. But then you've got the distribution cables or the lateral mains, as you may hear them called, go to each individual flat. And then you've got a, a service cutout again, possibly it might be a redhead. And then you've got a separate earth block there. So as I say, you've got a PME into the block of flats, but then it's separated within the building. And that is done specifically um, to comply with the engineering guidance notes. Um, and that's to prevent the risk of circulating neutral currents within the metal work of the building. So this is another example of a gray area in the electrical industry, specifically around earthing systems. So my advice is, is if you're ever unsure, ask the local DNO what type of earthing system is at the property. Another potential gray area that you might come across is when it comes to connecting the main earth and who's responsible for doing this. I've had a couple of situations where the local DNO has attended to carry out a service alteration or a new connection, and they've declined to connect the main earth to the building because they say that this is for the electrician to do. Now this can be a problem, particularly if the earth is to be connected into the side of the electricity supplier's cutout, because we're always told that the cutout is the property of the electricity supply and electricians aren't meant to touch it. Back in the day, whenever I used to get a service alteration or a new connection, the electricity supplier always used to ask for a copy of an electrical certificate to make sure that it's safe to connect to the PME system. However, I'm now wondering if they now prefer to leave this to the electrician. Now, I'm not sure if this is a thing, but I have had two occasions where DNOs have declined to do the connection of the main earth and left this to the electrician. So my advice to anybody watching is if you're an electrician and you order a new electricity supply or a service alteration is to always be there on the day when the DNO turns up to do the work because this way you'll be able to iron out any potential problems. Now if you usually carry out work for homeowners or for the end user and you're thinking well it's usually the responsibility of the person who pays the electricity bill to arrange works by the DNO even so it's still a really good idea for you or your electrician to be in attendance when the DNO you know, comes along to do any work to make sure that you can iron out any problems. Another topic that often comes up is PME systems and the considerations that we need to take into account when the supply is a PME system. Well, there's another video on my channel where I talk about installations where we can't use PME. And if you haven't already seen that, I'll put a link at the top of the screen. 